Hi guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel and to yet another video. So today it is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to you all. Um, and this video is going to be a what I got for Christmas video. Um, you will have to forgive that I've already unpacked some of the stuff because I forgot that I was going to film this. So, um, But I, I will add pictures in because um, I took pictures of everything as I opened them. So I will add those pictures to the end of the video or I'll splice them in throughout the video, whichever is easiest. Okay, so I'm going to just try and show everything. I won't talk too much about each item because otherwise this video will be quite long because I did get a lot of things and I am so, so thankful and grateful to all my friends and family for the amazing presents. I am very, very lucky. Okay, so first up is this from one of my dear, dear friends. I won't mention people's names, but she got me this. And it's a TY little beanie and you basically put your phone in and it holds your phone um, which is the coolest thing I opened this ridiculously early because she posted it to me and I didn't realise that it was a Christmas present so I opened it but it's so cute and I love it okay so next up from my mum and stepdad and this is one of my main presents from them is the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette they ordered this from me from Beauty Bay um, because I asked for this because I've wanted it for a long long time like this. I'm sorry that you can see the reflection from the camera, but there are the colours. It's so beautiful, um, and I cannot wait to use this palette. I probably will do a swatch video for this um, at some point soon. I'm going to do my full Jeffree Star collection because I do have uh, nine or ten lipsticks now. Um, I do have a highlighter and now obviously I have this palette so I might well do my collection, Jeffree Star collection and swatch video um, to keep your eyes peeled for that. But yes, I'm so happy. I finally own it. Woo. They also got me a bath set so it comes with, uh, well it's by Vintage, uh, sorry, Body Collection England. Uh, it looks like this. And this one's a hand cream. This one is a body lotion, and this one here is a shower gel, if it's going to focus on, but the packaging is super cute. Um, and it also came with one of these, but the one it came with was white, I would show you that one, but I've put it away, um, but it's exactly the same as this, but white. Let's just pop that back. Um, and it came in a metal, like cage container thing um, which I will show you but obviously I've taken these items out and I've actually repurposed it and now it's holding some of my cacti but I'm gonna flip the camera and show you the cage so you can at least see what it came in. So this cage here is what those shower gels and whatnot came in um, in this but as you can see I have repurposed it to put my cacti in it. Uh, next up I got a, a box of uh, like bath goodies um, I've obviously, it had beautiful wrapping paper on it, but I've opened it to get the things out and forgot that I was filming this, so I will add in a picture here of what it looked like. But this is the little booklet that comes in to tell you what each item is, and the artwork on the like wrapping of the box looked just like this, um, which is super cute. So that's what you get in there, that's the booklet. I will show you each bit individually. So this one here is still in the wrapper. Um, but this is the Santa Baby Soap, um, and it's like a red colour. I can't really tell what it smells like, but that's probably because it's still in the packaging. Um, but according to this here, um, it's got pure sweet orange and cinnamon oils in it, so it's going to smell pretty Christmassy, I think. But um, I can't wait to try this. Okay, then there's this one here is it looks beautiful it smells lovely um, so this one is the winter spruce bath booster and this one is so this one's got pure frankincense and yeah pure frankincense oil and it's supposed to smell like warm kind of wintry yeah but it's lovely so pretty and it smells gorgeous so I really cannot wait to try this and obviously I will do a bath bomb review slash demo using this some point in the future 
Okay, so I'm not sure if this is what it says it is in the book because the picture of the one in the book has a cracker on it and this one obviously has a little stocking on it so I'm not sure if it's actually the same thing but it looks reasonably the same. So if it is, this one is the Make It Snappy Bath Mellow um, and this one is spicy scents of mulled wine and clementines mixed with pure mandarin and cinnamon essential oils. It does have quite a strong smell of mulled wine, which I love, so that's not really a bad thing. Um, and it's like shiny and glittery at the bottom. It looks really, really pretty. Okay, so this is the next one, and it's really cute. It's got a little reindeer on it. Um, and let me just grab the book. So this one is the leader of the pack, Bath Mallow, and this one is spicy pumpkin cider fragrance and pure ginger and black pepper essential oils. You can smell the black pepper in that, but it's actually really, really pleasant. Because they look so pretty, I cannot wait to use these. Okay, and then this is the last item that was in the box. It's really pretty as well. So this one is the Glitter Balls Bath Creamer. And this one... Sorry, I have I should have pre-read the ingredients and things for these. Um, so this one's... Uh, got shea butter, ylang ylang and some other oils which I can't pronounce and I'm not even going to try because I will butcher their names. But it smells quite florally but also kind of cinnamony and like Christmassy and warm. It just, they all give you that kind of like warm feeling that you want when it's winter. But yeah, it's really cute as well. So that was the last, last item that was in that box. I cannot wait to try all of them. I just, I can't wait. Okay, so I'm not sure how well this next item is going to show up on camera, but it's also from my mum and stepdad. And it is this amazing box of nail varnishes. I believe there is maybe 18 in here. From Next, I'm not going to show you each one because that would just be mental and this video would be for, like take forever. Um, but you've got some glittery ones, some like shimmery ones, and some that are just colour. And I cannot wait to use some of these after Christmas and test them out and to use different colours. I'm literally so excited. I think they're going to work great. I've had some nail polishes from Next before and they're actually really, really good. Okay, my mum and stepdad also got me these pug socks from Next. So they're... Let's see if I can show you these. But they are so cute. Um, they're ankle socks, but then like... Yeah, <laughs> but they're really, really cute, and they look like this. They also got me this really, really cute pug night dress, and it's got a big pug on the front, and then on the back it's got loads of little dogs, and it's so cute. Well, I think there are little pugs and bulldogs on the back, but it's just a nice grey night dress, which I am actually so excited to wear. Can't wait, I'm probably going to wear it tonight, not going to lie. They also got me some fluffy socks. Um, I believe these may have been in my stocking actually, but yes, I love fluffy socks, um, I've got lots of pairs of them, I love them, so they got me these two pairs here, and they're so fluffy. Also in my stocking I got a box of minstrels, um, they also got me, uh, they always, mum always puts in there some of those little chocolate coins, but I've put those in my sweetie jar. Um, I got these, and they have each day of the week on, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they're like little pegs, um, and you can use these to like maybe um, stick notes to your calendar or whatever, if you've got important like things happening on a specific day, you could use these, but they're really pretty, and they're floral, and I love floral things, and they also got me this, this was in my stocking as well, um, this is the Waitrose Christmas Dairy Toffees, and it comes in a little camper van tin, um, I believe year last year my mum got me um, a similar to this, it's pretty much exactly the same but it was um, I think a bit more blue um, and it was bigger and it had biscuits in and I, um, once I'd like taken the biscuits out I actually used it to put all my tablets in, um, like medication and this one I'm probably going to use to put hair clips in when I empty out the toffees but these tins are so, so useful and they're actually really good quality. And the biscuits, or in this case, um, toffees, are really tasty too. Okay, then my brother got me this, which is um, Body Collection England, again, so the same people that made these things. And 
I'll open it up. And inside is all makeup brushes. So this is a makeup brushes and a makeup brush roll. And these brushes feel so soft and luxurious. So these are going to be my best makeup brushes. Okay, then I got these drawers from one of my aunties and uncles. Um, and they just pull out like this. And there's obviously three of them. And they're purple, so that's really cool. Um, these are really handy. I am forever needing little drawers like this to put hair stuff in and makeup. Um, so these are really, really handy. And actually... Um, these, I think I'm going to put hair clips and hair bubbles and things in, so that's really, really handy. And my auntie and uncle also got me this, which is like a camper buses um, calendar for 2017, and there's all the pictures on the back if you can see them. But a calendar is always super, super handy. I actually got two calendars, but this one it has like boxes for the days, so this one I'm going to use to write all my appointments and things in because there'll be more space. And I also got this super sparkly pink uh, 2007, 2007, 2017 um, diary in my uh, stocking as well. My dad got me a Pug 2017 calendar. This one's a long one. As you can see, this one just has lines, so there won't be as much space. But this one I'm going to use to write people's birthdays and things on, so that I can have two different calendars so things won't get too confusing. But again... It has really, really cute pug pictures on it. I think this one's got to be my favourite. So cute. Pugs. Um, a lot of people don't know, but I love pugs. Pandas, pugs, ferrets, cats, animals in general. But pugs and pandas are my favourite. Okay, so one of my main presents from my nan, granddad and dad was my Pandora bracelet, which I've got here. And I'm <coughs> slowly losing my voice. So my nan and grandma bought me the this Pandora bracelet, and then my dad bought me this panda charm, and this teddy bear charm, whether the camera's going to pick it up or not. I don't know if you can see it. There we go, but it's teddy bear charm. And then this one, which is 21, I got from an auntie for my 21st birthday, um, and I had it on this necklace. <coughs> because I didn't have a Pandora bracelet, um, but I love it. I've wanted a Pandora bracelet for so long, and now I have finally got one. My nan and granddad also got me two packets of sweets. So these ones are the Dairy Milk Caramel Nibbles, and these ones are Cadbury Crunchy Rocks. Okay, so some of my dad's friends got me this little bag here. It's like a patchwork bag, and it is super, super cute. It's got nice floral patterns on it, and it's quite a small size, but that's great because when I go to my dad's, I have quite a small handbag, so if I need to take extra stuff, I don't like to carry like a big, huge carrier bag, so this is the perfect size to put like my Nintendo or whatever it is, or, or my Kindle if I want to take it to my dad. And some more of dad's friends got me this from Avon, so it's like a little cupcake kind of, but it's like a, a Christmas tree. And then you open it up, and there are some little diamond earrings inside, and they are so beautiful. Um, and they are so, so pretty. I've been really spoiled this year for jewellery. Um, yeah, I feel so blessed and lucky and grateful and thankful and just, yeah, words can't even explain. <laughs> okay, next up from my best friend, I got this beautiful picture frame, and it's got like little beads on it, and they're like pinky, purple, and blue. And it looks like this, so that's so, so pretty. I literally have so many pictures up in my bedroom, so I can find a picture to fill this frame, I'm sure. Then she got me this really pretty owl purse, and it's like this. And it's got a zipper, which I can't unzip for some reason. I don't know whether I'm just being special, but I can't undo that, but okay. I'll just show you this bit. It's like a bronzy colour inside. It's very, very pretty. Just, just clip that back on. So that's that one. Um, she got me a lovely um, like uh, coffee mug or tea mug with cats on it, but it's downstairs being washed up, I believe, so I will insert a picture here to show you what it looks like. And she also got me this beautiful candle here. This is from Heart and Home and Cottage Garden Rambling Rose. And it's like this. And you just pop the lid off. 
it's a lovely pink colour and it smells like roses and I love um, the scent of rose, anything rose scented, I love. And also earlier this month, um, because we had a family get together, one of my other aunties got me this really pretty tin with some shower stuff in it. Um, I've obviously dismantled all the packaging um, and I have used quite a lot of the things that were in that particular little tin. If I can find a picture of it, I will insert it here, but if I can't, um, then yeah. But it, it's, it was really pretty and the things in it were lovely. Okay, so I think that's everything guys. I'm hoping I haven't left anything out. I don't think that I have. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to because it really, really does mean the world. And I hope that each and every one of you have had a lovely, lovely Christmas. I have been particularly spoiled this year and I am so grateful and so thankful for all the gifts and cards and messages. It's It all means so much and... Um, this year didn't start so great for me, but the ending is turning out to be pretty, pretty good. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and go, but I'll see you soon, guys. Bye!